Boom! Uh, here we are with the retro PC. I uh, got MS DOS on it and also went to put uh, Windows 98 under uh, the Windows operating system. Uh, better support for USB things uh, along those lines. Um, don't look at that. Yes, let's have a look at that. All right, so we've got the uh, Mega Drive here with uh, Western Technologies um, thing. Basically, what, what you do is you upload code over COM port from there around into the computer. The red LED hasn't done anything yet, so it's a bit disappointing, but there's still hope. Um, now, I had 98 in DOS, and then I realized that I'm probably going to need uh, another one. 3.11 uh, Windows for Workgroups I've gone with. And as you can see here, we have a little application called Sega Dev. Now, we'll start off by turning Mega Drive off. Opening that. So, this is what will happen if it's not detecting anything. Check interface, makes sense. Whoa, things. So I can edit the VRAM. Hmm, that is pretty cool. The CRAM. The VS RAM, <laughs> and I can set some VDP registers. I have no idea what any of this thing is. But, you know, there's a couple of options in there. Cascade, tile, oh wait, that's just, never mind. And I can download file. a snazzum box. A good friend snazzum. They say in the uh, the text file there um, that it allows you to uh, download to the Mega Drive. So I think they mean upload to the Mega Drive. But download from the PC on the Mega Drive. It's potato potato really. But, um, you know, so that's progress. I wasn't expecting this to work. Uh, thanks to the gentleman who sent me this software on Assembler Games. It's the place to be for all your retro gaming. Look at that, look at all that code. Let's disassemble some code, yeah. Code, how's, how's that look for code? Is that good code, bad code? I'm not a programmer. Not yet anyway, oh, that's a lot of code. That is a lot of code, isn't it? wonder what it's doing. Hmm. Well, we won't be able to find out until I one day <laughs> somehow get a TV into this next to this PC, which won't be for a little while, but there's just a quick demo of uh, what it's doing. I'm them in symbols. Dump. Is in there as well. Hmm. Whole heap of things. Some registers. Nineteen ninety-three. Thought I probably should use Windows three point one one for this. Um, Ninety-five came a little bit later. It might not have been as compatible. That was extremely um, painless, though. Getting that to interface, I just connected the cable and opened the program. 
Usually you got to set an IRQ somewhere and it's set wrong or it's conflicting with something else, but not, not today. So, excellent. Thanks for watching. There'll be more on this one.